It is a cold case that spans more than two decades. A Hickory Apache Nation woman was last seen in 2001, and nearly 20 years later, skeletal remains were discovered near Dulce, New Mexico. Andres Valle explains how they could be connected to the disappearance of Melissa Montoya and where the investigation stands now. So Melissa Montoya is from Dulce, New Mexico. She was 42 years old when she went missing. She went to a party on St. Patrick's Day and. 2001 at the Hickory Apache House of Spirits, and she was never seen again after that night. It's sad because we use this road so much, it's just kind of like a constant reminder of someone who was lost and forgotten. Melody Gomez taking us to the ranch. Her cousin, Melissa Montoya, used to live right outside of Dulce in northern New Mexico. She had a lot of family, a large family, but I think he kept a lot of people who were close to her at a distance for a reason. Just days before she disappeared, Melissa said she broke up with her boyfriend. The family believes he may have been abusive. Melody, only a teenager when Melissa went missing in 2001 and saw her just before she disappeared. It was the St. Patrick's Day dance and I remember they hadn't opened the dance up to the public yet and so she stopped to visit with me. And we talked for probably a good hour and a half before she left down to go to the dance. So I was one of the last people to speak with her. Darlene Gomez, an attorney for the family, has been working the case for 23 years and may have recently found a clue about where Melissa might be. I received an email from a woman who was looking for her loved one who went missing from California. So she came across the NamUs record stating that a bones and a skull had been found in Dulce, New Mexico and they were of a female that was between 30 and 60 years of age and Native American. And so she did her own research and she found that there was only three women missing from the area and Melissa Montoya was one of them. Those bones discovered in 2020 entered into a database. Darlene fighting to get these remains tested to see if it could be Melissa. The office of the medical investigator did tell me that there are no funds available to test these bones. Darlene reaching out to the Hikaria Apache Police Department to actively work the case. She says investigators are now reaching out to family members for DNA testing. It was really hard when my grandmother was alive. She would say quite often that she hoped that Melissa would be found, you know, that Lisa, something would, would, would come of her disappearance before she passed away. And it was really, really sad that when my grandmother died, she didn't know what happened to Lisa. And while the family doesn't know exactly what happened to Melissa, they suspect her ex-boyfriend might have had some details. Maybe three or four months after she went missing, um, I believe he committed suicide. So I believe that his body was found just, you know, a couple miles down the road into Colorado at the ranch home that they shared together. The family claiming the ranch he lived on with Melissa set on fire a few days later. I saw the flames um, when I was getting closer. I rolled down the window to try to be, you know, in, to see more. And the, the heat was so extensive that you couldn't even really roll down your window. It'll be three years ago that my mom passed away and she had dementia. And she kept asking me about Melissa. Que paso con ella? Where is she? And so I kind of feel like maybe she had this premonition that if I worked on MMIW more and kept Melissa's name in the media that, you know, she would be found or we would get answers. That person was someone, mm. loved by someone, loved by family, had, you know, we don't know the circumstances of whoever's remains those are, but hopefully it'll bring closure and maybe even justice for someone who was lost. Reporting in Dulce, I'm Andres Valle for KOET Action 7 News. Reached out to the Hickory Apache Police Department about the case, and we were told they don't have a comment. It's not clear if the bones have been tested to see if they belong to Melissa Montoya.